Hi vlog, long time no see. It's mommy. Hi. So the last time we did a project, it's been a long time. What was the last project we did, mommy? I don't know what I think the floors in the old house was the last project that I vlogged <clears throat> that I've really done. So we're here at mother's house and um, she got a new closet system. So I've missed the part where she ripped up the carpet and put down floors in her closet. But I'm here to- You also missed the part where I extended the shoe section. I will, the lights. I will show you all of that. But um, I'm here to assist with the building out of the new closet system. Where did this come from, Mom? I will, I will, y'all know, I'll link it or whatever. So, <clears throat> tell them the details. You were able to build it out online. Yes, I did my measurements and I called it in and I sent them a, basically a diagram of what my closet looked like. And she mocked it up, sent it to me. You can put as many drawers as you want or the hanging spaces, whatever you wanted. So, here it is. See how it comes out. But now we have to put it together. I guess you do have the option for somebody to come and build it. Do they no. give that? On no. their Instagram, it looked like they did. I don't think it was that option. Okay. Well, we'll be taking down her closet and building and installing the new closet system. Modular closets. That's what it's called. Module. That's the name of the brand? Yeah. Modular, modular closets. All right. Fun, fun, fun. I don't know if I'll be here for the whole thing. <laughs> but she always does disappear. If we're not gonna get this all done today. No, I'm definitely, this is heavy. All right, y'all, here we go. We found the instructions. <laughs> that was just a hanger. We have decided that we're going to start with the handsome young man's side of the closet there. <laughs> While mother is searching for her mock-up, let me show you the closet. Um, if some of you all are watching this video and you don't normally watch me, the last video you watched was us doing the floors. This is a completely different house. So here's mother's closet. Okay, so these floors, she just did these um, literally a couple of days ago, last week, maybe it's been a whole week. It was carpeted in here. She went with this choice of floor because this is the floor throughout the um, rest of the house. And then over here, she added more shelves about two, three weeks ago. So I believe it just had maybe one, two, three. Oh, we can kind of tell. So three shelves. And then she's added all of those. So those are the edits, I call them edits, that she's done to the closet. And then these cute little chandeliers, she had those installed this week also. Those are from Amazon. Now, this is the closet. It's, it's a good amount of space. This is how it came from the builder, right? Three rods, one two, three, me. So yeah, that's the whole closet, y'all. So we're going to start with this side. We were debating on if we should take this down first or should we build first. Um, uh, we should, I don't know. I think most people normally take down first, right? We should probably take, we should, I don't know. I don't, okay, I don't know. so we're putting I, I it together know. now. Here is the mock-up. This is the mock-up of the closet. Mother was in communication with someone that works at Modular Closets. Probably that person here. Esty. Esty. 
And like she said, she gave them the dimensions of her closets, the things that she would have liked in the closet, and then they mocked it up. Now, we're starting with this side of the closet, stepdaddy's side. And of course, he has this little itty bitty side. Um, yes, I just said a little itty bitty side. And then they have it labeled which um, modular pieces those are. So that comes in handy because now we have this. This is the packing slip. Um, and as y'all can see, that label over there matches this. And then this tells us what all pieces we need. And it has come shipped with the labels on them. So it's, it's, it's pretty simple. So you have your mock-up with the main piece. And then it breaks down the pieces that you need. And then you find the box with those pieces in it. So that's where we're at now. Now we're putting together the first piece. We've decided to build before we break. <laughs> Almost forgot the important part. This came attached with the shipment and it has instructions on how to build, I guess, everything that they sell. So right now we are putting together the double hanging. 18 inch. We're, but the double hanging, right? Yeah, one of the double hangings. One's 18 inch and then we have three that's 30 inch. Okay, so then we flip over to the double hanging and then we need to find, does it matter? Huh? 18 inch, yeah, I think. Maybe not. It might not it actually might not. matter yeah. as far as the size. Yeah, yeah. It's just you put it together. So yeah, so this is where the actual instructions of the build are. So, so far so good? Yep, I got all of those in. All right, she did stuff. <laughs> she did stuff. <laughs> making progress <clears throat> we are we've got all of one two three four five <coughs> excuse me six <laughs> working on number seven Look, i have y'all and i'm not gonna edit it out this the last one we doing tonight and then tomorrow we'll tackle the drawer <laughs> so childish We'll tackle the drawers because um, it's 10 15 bedtime. Good morning. It's the next day. We have finished building all the towers and shelving units. So, this is a tower, another tower behind it, two different sizes. Those are hangers, I think, and these are shelves. So we have one, two, three, four shelves, two towers, and two hangers. These are actually hangers, these are double hangers. So oh. we have three double hangers. Well, actually four double hangers. Whatever. 
<laughs> We've built the wall units. Right. Now we're about to assemble the drawers that go onto these towers. Now they're different sizes. Shaker drawers. Shaker drawers, yay. They're different sizes um, just based off of what mother ordered for the closet. So let's build some drawers and hopefully it's as simple as putting these together. What's up there? renovation update so I did a few things without um, videoing so I'm backtracking to tell you guys what I did or so Lexi can put it on her vlog um, so we took down the shelves in here at least two rows of those I decided to leave those high because I don't think I'm gonna go that high with them much of a closets so I took those down and then I had to repair the sheetrock because this is where the, the rails were hanging. So I had to repair. So what I used to repair is this. It's called orange peel wall texture. And you basically shake it, shake it, shake it. And then you spray it on to, you know, whatever you want it to be. And then you do, you take your little spatula. And once you spray it on, you take your little spatula. And you can gently roll across. It's called the knockdown orange peel. So that's what I did with it. So I did that, I let it dry, and then I painted it. So you can basically still see some of the lines where it was, but that's fine because the closet is gonna back up to it so you really won't see it. But I just didn't wanna leave the sheetrock open and you know, all that good stuff. So yep, that's where we are. Next step, modular closets. Mommy and Norman just put up another shelf. Um, Normie's going to show you the shelf now. Okay. Now, Mommy, tell them what she did to put up the shelf. Okay, so these came, well, it was empty. This was not here. So when you put it up, it's supposed to go against the wall, and I didn't want that. So... I decided to put a backing in it, so I bought some plywood, I guess you could call it, very thin plywood, and cut it to the size of the each cabinet and nailed them on. So now it has a backing. Well, they didn't have backing, mm -hmm. they no. a closer space. The they were just supposed to go up against the wall and you see just the, the wall behind it. So. Did you, um, Good job, right? Auntie. Again? She said she was going to put them on there last, but the one inside the closet have the rails on them. You, you oh. it back? The rails are on them. I, I can't oh, yeah. All, all of them have the rails. Yeah, she scooted them back. All right, y'all. I think it's two days later. I've personally made it back. My mother attempted to vlog. So if I include those clips, please know that they're from my mother. Um, all right. So we already talked about what she did with the extra shelving and the shoes over here. Now let's look at the shelves that we built. So here we are. She's currently hanging up stepdaddy's clothes. He only has this little section right here. Should be 
should be enough. And then her section. So what's happening? That's asking y'all. So stepdaddy does not really care for the drawers. So she's thinking of buying a different, what a hanger for him or shelving. Another shelving, I mean, hanging maybe with one or two shelves and some shoe some things. Shoe things. Okay. And then move that one over here to this empty wall. I think. Can you replace the drawers with shelves? So you, well, I guess you could still, yeah, you could still use it and put your handbags on it. I don't have that much handbags. Yeah. This is more than enough. I'm trying to put all his work shirts where he's going to be able to find them. See, Lexi, I could have went back another whole inch or two. Don't it? Yeah. So this is what, I don't know if it was very clear in the video before, but as y'all see, let me see if I can, it's so dark. But these are the original holes that this bar was supposed to start in. So out further, some other deers didn't like that because that would cause the clothes to hang out like halfway. <clears throat> so she decided to bore her own holes and push the shelf back. Now she's saying she could have... What did I say? Relocate the holes from here to here so the clothes aren't sticking out of the cabinet like this they would have been probably here which now that i see it, it that is a little silly but she's saying that she could have went further back so if this is a closet system that you decide to purchase then you know that you can probably from where they have the original holes if you don't want your clothes actually sticking out of the actual closet system itself, you can probably go back about a good four or five inches with this rack. So <clears throat> you'll just have more walking space, I guess. Um, what else needs to be added and removed? Get out, get out of, get out. Aspen, out. So these, uh, corner shelves that are supposed to go up here so you see how up here has nothing and right here as well has like <clears throat> nothing it doesn't look like it's connecting and flowing those shelves go up here but she needs to trim them to fit into that spot just so it can look like a full seamless you know closet but other than that what do we think you all Daddy had more clothes than I thought. He didn't really wear half of them. All right, so. Okay, and the closet is filled with clothes again. <laughs> so, this is the finished look. Got some stuff over here. I think Mother's going to change these drawers out and just put another hanging rod here because stepdaddy has more clothes than I think she thought. I think she might be doing the same for herself over here because it's a little tight. She thought the drawers were cute, and they are, but she doesn't necessarily have a lot to put in the drawers. So she might, she did actually buy another hanging rod and it's going to take the drawers out and put that there. But overall, this closet system, modular closets, it's very simple, super easy. Probably the hardest part in what I did not participate in was probably just finding the studs and actually getting these up on the wall. Um, but actually just following the instructions and putting these together, very easy, y'all. So if you want a professional closet system, check out Modular Closets. And y'all know my videos don't be sponsored. So I really like this. It looks, it looks really, really good.
Yeah.